Yo guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to clean your mountain bike suspension and set it up in the correct way for your riding preference and your weight. All you're going to be needing for this is some true tension bike maintenance spray, a microfiber cloth and a shock pump and that's all you're going to need for setting up your suspension and getting it all clean and nice. So let's get on with the video. Right guys so the first thing you're going to need to do is get your Regular viewers of the channel will know that uh, I'm supported by True Tension who support me as a rider and the YouTube channel itself. So with True Tension I've got a deal and I've got a discount code and a link for you guys where you can get 10% off on their website on all their products. So if you're wanting to buy some bicycle maintenance spray to set up your suspension like me then you head over to the website, put in a discount code and you get 10% off your entire purchase. Your bike maintenance spray and you just go spray that onto your microfiber cloth. <laughs> You'd be better to get a clean one. I've just forgot to clean mine. So you got to spray some of that on the cloth. Make sure it's away from the brakes because this stuff's got lubricant in it, and then that would mean you wouldn't be able to stop. So you got to spray it on there like so, and then you're just going to wipe it on the fork stanchions and through the dirt on both sides. Get a little bit more for the other side. Nice. Wipe some on there like so. Now you're going to hold the front brake and while doing that you're going to push down on the suspension a few times. And then that'll make all the dirt and any excess dust particles come up in your fork. And then you're going to get a little bit more of your maintenance spray. On a new bit of the cloth get that all sorted and then you're just going to wipe off all that dirt on both sides and then at the bottom of the fork you're going to wipe off any excess at the bottom of the fork stanchion again repeat on both sides and that's how you clean your front suspension now this is where you would get your shock pump what you want to do is you want to just take off the cap put a little bit more air in and get it set up to your weight. We'll speak about that later on in the video, but we're going to repeat the process in the back shop and show you guys to see if you remember. So let's get on to the back shop. Now the back shop, pretty much exact same process. Going to get your maintenance spray, spray that onto your cloth and then just going to wipe right round there. Get all that dirt. Then again, we're going to bounce the suspension. And again, if you can see a little bit of dirt here, just going to get the microfiber cloth, spray a little bit more on there. Again, make sure it's away from the brakes. And then swipe around there. And all good to go. Right, now we're going to talk about the air in your suspension, getting it set up to your rider pre to your riding preference or your weight. So the way this normally works, most forks and rear suspension have what's known as SAG, which is a percentage and a line on the stanchion which just displays how much you're going to be using. Personally, I ride mine at around 30%, between 30 and 20, and that's what I do for enduro and downhill. What you do is you would push the rubber rings on the suspension right down to the bottom, and what you would do is you would get somebody to hold the front wheel while you go in your attack, rider's attack position and you would go down on the bike once and back up and then you would gently come off the bike and you would see where the rubber ring's sitting and then as you can see by the percentages you would see where the rubber ring is and that's how you know the percentage of sag and you would just add more or take less out to set it up I guess. Sorry it was quite a short video guys but there's a lot of weather warnings in Scotland and now red weather warnings and I've not been able to ride due to that because there's lots of trees down in the woods where I would normally be riding so it's just just creates issues and yeah so I'm just going to make this video for you guys and hopefully next week or the week after we'll get a riding video on the go for you guys. Anyway I hope you enjoyed this one and don't forget to hit subscribe and leave a like and comment down below what you would like us to do in the future on the next week or so um, and yeah see you in the next one